side. Uh, and frankly, we like to be with our friends and extended family. Uh, we're still at the point where we really hope that as many Coloradans in po as possible uh, enjoy this Memorial's Day in groups of 10 or less. Let me, let, me, let me tell you why and kind of where we are. Right now, and I talked to our state epidemiologist this morning, about one in 300 Coloradans are contagious with coronavirus right now. So just imagine, imagine that people didn't heed the advice to stay in groups of 10 or less. Imagine there were 50, 100 groups of 50 people, 100 people across the state. If you're in a group of 100 people, there's a one in three chance that somebody there has coronavirus. And that one case in a group of 100 people quickly becomes 20 or 30 cases. That's how contagious it is. Each one of those can become several more cases. Uh, that would mean that we would move backward, our hospitals would fill up again, uh, and communities that were directly affected would have to take additional step, steps to keep people safe. So let's be smart. Coloradans are smart. If you're out in a group of eight, nine people, if somebody has it, it might only be three people that get it instead of 30 people. And you also only have, if you're in a group of 10, about a one in 30 chance of being around somebody with coronavirus instead of a one in three chance. Uh, or in a group of, of two or 300, it might almost be a certainty or a likelihood that at least one person is contagious with coronavirus. About half the people who are contagious with coronavirus don't have symptoms, don't know they have it. They're not deliberately affecting others. Uh, we have thousands of uh, coronavirus marries among us people that unwittingly can spread the virus to people for whom it might be fatal or required extended hospitalizations without themselves being ill. It's still a mystery to scientists what factors in our own unique biology lead to such different clinical manifestations of coronavirus ranging from completely asymptomatic to uh, deadly pneumonia or organ failure. But scientists are learning more every day. And in the meantime, Let's all have a safe Memorial Day weekend. Let's honor the holiday, of course, for what it is, honoring those who gave their lives in our nation's service. And in doing that, let's not put our own lives at risk and the lives of our fellow Coloradans at risk. And try to do that if you're having a barbecue, if you're going to an area in groups of 10 or less to make sure that you have the very best chance to avoid the virus yourself and to avoid Colorado reversing the successful course that we've been on. I'm also very excited today to formally announce something that we've talked about uh, at the 20,000 foot level in the past, and that is the exact parameters of the, our partnership from the state of Colorado with Colorado State University to test asymptomatic workers and residents at nursing facilities. We've now formalized that agreement. For eight weeks, we're testing it up to 30 of our nursing uh, facilities. And we know that we can prevent infection by testing people who go in and work in those nursing facilities, uh, residents. Uh, we can help keep it out of areas that have extremely high hospitalization and death rates. And we're with CSU uh, in that regard. This is easy to get tested. Uh, we've now reached a point, by the way, through lots of hard work, uh, the mayor's work, our work, our state teams work, the Emergency Operations Center, the National Guard, partnering for with international private providers as well as the administration to have enough tests and enough testing capacity for it to be free, easy, and quick. Those are the three best things that you could want. Free, you don't have to pay for it. Easy, guess what? They don't even stick it all the way up your head. Uh, you actually rub the, a Q-tip-like thing around in your nose yourself. Not at all painful incredibly easy, quick. You should be in and out of here in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I mean, maybe there's some time of day where it's 30, 40 minutes, but you should be out of here and probably sometimes where it's five, 10 minutes. So it's easy, it's quick, 34 sites across the state. Uh, this one opens seven days a week. Uh, it starts uh, tomorrow. And if you're symptomatic, please get tested. Thank you to the city of Denver. Thank you to the mayor. Thank you to all of our community health partners across the entire state for helping to make testing a reality to make sure that we can truly isolate, quarantine, and contain this deadly virus to prevent the kind of devastating closures that occurred in our state last month. Thank you again, and we'll turn it over to the mayor. Thank you, Governor Polis, and again, thank you for your leadership of the state. You are the right leader at the right time for Colorado. 
With that, I want to bring up uh, Murphy Robinson, our director of safety, who has, again, led this effort uh, to get this uh, process, this testing site, over the finish line. Murphy? Thank you, Mayor. Hello, everyone. I'm Murphy Robinson, executive director for the Department of Public Safety and the leader of the testing task force who put this site together in record time. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work of the 63 plus members of the Denver Testing Task Force and the City Attorney's Office, made up of staff across the city, our partners in Denver Health, as well as private industry. An extra special thank you to Bruce Glazer with Kroenke uh, Sports for allowing us to use this space. Thank you so much, Bruce. Renee Ortiz with Eventful Pro, uh, who is our event planner, LabCorp for being our partnering lab, Dr. Greg LeBurge uh, of our Denver Crime Lab, Dr. David Cameron, Dr. Sarah Rowan, and Dr. Judy Schley, who have been my medical advisors through this time and, and serve as my medical advisory team and that have played a key role in getting this equipped and operational in just 10 days. I also want to acknowledge some of the Metro County partners here. Uh, with us today, we have Gray, uh, Ray Gonzalez from Adams County, he's our Adams County Manager. Don Davis, the Jeffco County Manager, as well as Chief Ron Abramson from the Colorado Rangers. Access to testing is very important as we move forward to, towards recovery from the pandemic. This testing site is free and open to all of our community who are experiencing symptoms of the Corona 19, COVID-19 virus. The test being conducted at this site will tell you if you have a COVID-19 virus in your body. There is a screening tool at the testing registration website that will help residents determine whether or not this test is appropriate for them based on their individual symptoms. We encourage anyone who wants to be tested to visit the COVID testing page on the denvergov.org website to determine if they are eligible for testing. Unlike previous test sites, testing is not limited to those who have a doctor's order or those who are part of the high risk group. We welcome all individuals in the Denver metro area with any symptoms to visit our website and get registered to get a test. It is important to note that this specific test is not for those who think they may have had COVID in the past. Unlike previous testing methods, this test uh, is done quickly and easily with a nasal swab test that the patient will perform themselves. There's a video on the testing website that demonstrates how this is exactly done. Testing site staff will collect the swab and send it to our testing partner, LabCorp, and the results will be available within three days on the LabCorp website. This location is a drive up testing site location and will be open seven days a week, eight to five, like the mayor and the governor said. There are no appointments necessary, so patients can register it on the website and come down to the Pepsi Center at their own convenience. If you cannot make it to the Pepsi Center or have uh, problems with transportation or you, you are so symptomatic that you cannot leave uh, your home, we invite you to call 311 for further assistance and we will uh, utilize another way of testing uh, mobile or another health care provider to help you uh, get tested uh, so that you can understand if you have coronavirus. The goal for the Denver COVID testing site is to supplement our health care system and mobile testing applications to broaden the testing in Denver across, and across the state. If you think you have symptoms of COVID-19 and are suspicious that you have the virus, please, please do not hesitate to register for a test. Thank you so much. Before we open up q and I want to apologize to my friend Bruce. I think I called you Brian per script. Okay, whoever wrote the script, I blame him. You at least know I was on script. <laughs> Blue, Bruce Glazier over there, folks, with Cronky Sports. All right, let's uh, open up for question and answer. The governor and Murphy have agreed to be here for question and answer as well. Yeah, you know, that number is based off of a formula by the, that's issued by CDC that says you want to test 150 residents per 100,000 people 
per day. And um, we, um, if you consider what our population is, we should be just over a thousand people per day that we're testing. We have the capacity today, literally, to test up to 4,000 people uh, in the city of Denver. Um, and so if we deployed all the resources with all of our partners, we can get to 4,000. Uh, but we feel um, 1,000 here, or at least 1,000 target per day is a comfortable number. Uh, and if we're able to do this quick testing, we can probably do more. Um, and we have the ability to expand here to go up to 1,000 folks here if we want. Right now, we're set for 500 per day. Governor? Yeah. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure and we are able to test everybody who's symptomatic in the state. Now, something that has occurred because uh, schools are virtual, uh, a lot of Coloradans are staying at home and limiting their, con limiting their contact, is all of these contagious diseases are at a, 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 the non-COVID ones are at a record low. So few people have the cold or flu because the social distancing has also reduced the spread of all those symptomatic uh, colds and flus that are out there. So um, that's good. People are healthier. That's great. But that also means there's less people that even have symptoms to be tested. So uh, in a city of, you know, uh, four or five hundred thousand people, are there a thousand people a day with cold flu like symptoms? There may or may not be. But the message is, and especially as people are getting out more, they're more likely to get the regular cold or flu in addition to COVID. So please just get tested if you're symptomatic. Um, and if you're sick, uh, go to their go to their symptom tracker. There's 36 sites across the state. Denver's obviously a bigger one, you know, a thousand a day is a lot. Uh, others in small rural counties might see a few dozen every day. Uh, but the key point is no matter where you live in Colorado, we want it to be convenient for you, easy, free, quick, convenient. Uh, well, a thousand is, yeah, 500 or a thousand is certainly a lot. I mean, Denver, uh, you can just do the math. You're just about 10% of the state mayor or so, roughly. Um, so uh, if, if you're doing 1,000 in Denver, that would, that would be about 10,000 across the state, and that's pro rata. But keep in mind, this site is serving more than just Denver residents. I mean, there's several across the metro area, but this site is also partnering with Adams County and others. Uh, so absolutely, with 34 sites, this is the biggest one. This is the handles the most people. Uh, in a small rural county, there might just be a couple dozen a day. So no matter where you live, easy, free, quick, convenient, if you're symptomatic. And this this at Pepsi Center that the that Mayor Hancock in Denver worked on is certainly the single biggest piece of that because it's a convenient location for hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions in our state. Well, testing is one of our four uh, strategies to be able to combat this. Uh, people ask a lot about testing. It's available for anybody who's sick. We want you to get tested. Uh, the other three are wearing masks in public. I'm very supportive of the work of Mayor Hancock and many other mayors to make sure that folks are wearing masks when they're shopping, uh, not just for their own safety, but the safety of those who work in retail who are already wearing masks. The additional steps to protect our most vulnerable. Uh, and that means the, the personal protective equipment, the high quality masks that we've sent in partnership with the federal government and others to uh, retirement centers and nursing homes across the state, the testing of asymptomatic workers at those locations, uh, and finally the social distancing. With one in 300 Coloradans who are contagious and the vast majority of them not knowing it, uh, uh, it's so important that we don't congregate in groups of hundreds of people. Each one is really almost guaranteed to create another outbreak, and each of those could create additional outbreaks. So uh, let's be careful for Memorial Day weekend. Uh, if you want to take a calculated risk and be in a group of 10, you can. Uh, if you do the math, uh, you'll see that in a group of 10, there's probably about a 1 in 30 chance that somebody in that group is contagious with COVID. If it goes from, from one person to three, you might have a one in 90, one in 100 chance of getting it. But if you're in a group of uh, 100 or 200, uh, it's, it's more likely than not that there is somebody who's contagious with COVID in that group and that it could easily spread to 20, 30 people uh, from that single contagious person. And that's why we all want to honor those who we lost in Memorial Day in life, their lives in service to our nation. Uh, and if you can, stay with your immediate family group, those you live with, <clears throat> good time for a family barbecue. Uh, and if you absolutely must mix with others, try to keep it in a group of 10 or less. Thank you. 
Uh, we have widespread free uh, testing available. Um, frankly, the less people that need it because they have symptoms, the more that we can direct to asymptomatic workers at our nursing home, senior care facilities, and retirement facilities. So uh, if there aren't uh, Coloradans that are symptomatic because the social distancing is working and keeping down symptoms, it will enable us to keep it out of more nursing homes. Uh, and we already announced, we just announced our partnership with CSU for 30 nursing homes across the state, many of the largest. We're also doing work with the Colorado National Guard to test people with no symptoms who work in those nursing homes. And they've already screened out more than a dozen people who've tested positive without knowing it who would have been going into senior homes each one of those could have led to outbreaks that cost a dozen or more lives given the effect of this virus on those who are in their 70s and 80s Mayor, how much is this all well first of all let me just say how grateful i am the governor is here because he gets most of the questions um, <laughs> the, you know we used our first tranche of, of our federal cares act money about five million dollars to uh, commit to this this site and we just recently uh, Murphy maybe you'll come up here uh, committed another uh, tranche of money from the money that's come flowing through the state from CARES Act as well so from the CARES Act we've dedicated about 3.5 million uh, to this site specifically but also realize that this is not the only effort going on across the state and across the city and county of Denver we have the mobile Winnie and the mobile uh, units that we have uh, put out um, that are uh, responding to folks' homes as well as a number of other uh, facilities, healthcare facilities uh, with not only Denver Health but a lot of our hospitals uh, that will be seeing part of those allocations. Excellent question. So I, I probably will bring up Dr. Uh, Judy Schley to uh, talk a little bit in more in depth about this, but we are asking that folks uh, don't come uh, back to the site unless they've been uh, tested for uh, the last seven days. But Dr. Schley, why don't you? Uh... Um, good afternoon. Uh, through Denver Health, uh, the Occupational Health Department, city workers, as well as first responders can get tested and we have a survey that they complete where they put in their risks and their s symptoms and if they meet the qualifications they get tested and they go through a drive-through testing site that's located to there are three sites at Denver Health and it's very quick within 10 minutes they're in and out. Aquí en el Pepsi Center tenemos pruebas para coronavirus gratis, rápido, fácil. Es muy fácil desde 15 minutos, 20 minutos, gratis. No necesita uh, una nota de, uh, de doctor, no necesita ser ciudadano. Es gratis, rápido, fácil aquí en Pepsi Center y también 35 más sitios durante todo el estado. Yeah, sí. Sí, en, 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 en sitios como Stride y aquí en Pepsi Center, todas las pruebas son gratis para cualquier persona quien tiene enfermedad uh, y, y temperatura y sin, síntomas de, de enfermedad. Es gratis, fácil, uh, no necesita tener um, uh, insurance, no necesita tener un doctor, no necesita ser un ciudadano. Es gratis, rápido y fácil aquí en Pepsi Center, en Stride Centro y muchos otros sitios uh, durante todo el estado. Gracias. So I hadn't heard that. You just broke that news to me. Um, they've been limiting. Uh, are they employees or, in, or, or fo in, in folks that are there? Um, so we have. Uh, this virus spreads rapidly in congregate living facilities. And, and that can mean college dorms, nursing homes, prisons, uh, immigration detention centers, where people are living in proximity indoors, getting their meals together. 
it spreads extremely rapidly. Um, and that's why we are focusing a lot of the testing effort around asymptomatic folks that work at those facilities. We would be thrilled to partner with ICE if they need additional testing or resources, uh, if they need help isolating those uh, who might be contagious. But it, it doesn't uh, discriminate based on the nature of the congregate facility. But wherever people live together in close proximity, share their meals together, spend a lot of time indoors together, uh, it shows a much higher uh, contagion factor. And that's why uh, facilities like the ICE facility in Aurora, uh, our prisons, our nursing homes are of such great concern. The question uh, that was just asked was, will this be enough? What's next? You know, I, I think as everyone will understand that COVID is a constantly moving target. We are continually every hour learning more and more about this disease. And so as to what's next uh, is to be determined. However, I will tell you, we have a very strong team of doctors and professionals uh, looking at how we can streamline the processes of making sure not only can we open up our economy again, but that we can make sure that we can curve the curve uh, and making uh, sure that there is no uh, reintroduction of this virus into the city and county of Denver. This is the start. Uh, this testing site will be it will enable us to have data to understand what is this spread all about and what does it look like in the city and county of Denver and frankly in the metro area. However, as more tests come uh, to us from the FDA and uh, are approved, uh, we will be able to introduce those types of tests at this site. Sure, I can talk from uh, the Denver's point of perspective, but I also would give it to the governor as well. You know, uh, the great thing about partnership is that's exactly what it is. is uh, as the state did an excellent job launching their testing site, uh, they also shared what they learned, uh, what, what we could avoid doing and what we could do uh, as terms of their best practices. And so we talked to the state. The state has been an a excellent partner in standing up this site here today. So, Governor, I didn't know if you had any more there. Um, un poco más en español antes, ¿sí? ¿Dónde está? ¿Did he go? Oh, there, okay, sí. Um, es importante saber si no necesita ser documentado para recibir la prueba gratis y fácil. Y nadie va a preguntar a usted si usted tiene uh, documentaciones. Es muy importante saberlo porque todo el estado estamos juntos en esta lucha contra este virus. Ok. Um, uh, so uh, let me talk about how the technology has improved. Um, in the early days, it required somebody who was trained medically to have the P and had the PPE to insert the long nasal pharyngeal swab into the back of your nose. That's actually not what they're doing here. That was the only protocol that had been validated at that time. The reason this is so much quicker and easier is they basically hand you a Q-tip-like thing. You just rub it around your nose and you hand it back to somebody wearing a glove. So it cuts down on the difficulty of administering uh, those tests, makes it significantly quicker. And when we opened Lowry, it was, I believe, one of the first drive-through testing sites in the nation, no less the state. So everybody went there. Uh, people drove an hour, two hours to get there. Now we have 34 free community testing sites across the state. So if you live in Fort Collins, you'll go up there. Uh, if you live in Colorado Springs, you're going to go there. If you live in Boulder, you'll go there. Uh, and there are a number of sites across the Denver metropolitan region, including at Stride uh, and other community health clinics. So uh, we are excited that we've made it free, easy, quick uh, for everybody. If you have symptoms, uh, please be tested. Find out if you have COVID. We need that visibility. You deserve that visibility. Uh, and we appreciate everybody uh, for talking about this great progress that Denver has made in partnership with the state. So let us, let us conclude with just underscoring, and I want to thank the governor uh, for being here. I want to thank Murphy Robinson and the entire task force that helped make this happen. Once again, to the Cronkey family uh, and Enterprises for helping to make this happen. Bruce, thank you. Um, to all the medical professionals and public health professionals who are here to help, uh, that were a part of making this happen. Just to underscore this point, from day one, and the governor, I'd love to use the term back in the day. That was four months ago. That's how it seemed like forever, back in the day. 
Uh, we've been at this now, I think we're in 61 day, 65th day of our emergency operation in the city of Denver. It, this has gone, it seems like forever. But we've always underscored the fact the, and, and put a, a highlight underline under the fact that we've got to be able to boost testing. And we've got to make testing accessible to all residents. It can't just be those who have the ability to access testing through their physician. This is for everyone. I want to be very clear to all of our residents in the metro area, we're not asking questions about citizenship here when you come through. There's nothing on the form to denote whether or not someone is a citizen or not. Um, we, we don't care if you're a resident of Denver or Jefferson County or Adams County or Douglas County. We want, this is all about the virus. It's all about boxing that virus in, and so we want folks to come and get tested. We ask you to go to denvergov.org or to call 311. If for some reason, as Director Murphy has pointed out, you cannot make it here, um, we do have a mobile unit that if, uh, particularly for Denver residents, this is primarily for Denver residents, we will send the mobile unit out um, it, on a, on a reserve, reserve basis um, to take a test for you and get you the results. Uh, but there, I don't want you to believe that in any means this is anything other than uh, about anything other than getting people tested and making sure that we get on top of this virus and stay on this side of the epi curve so that we can begin to restore, repair, and to uh, once again reignite our economy and the healthiness of our people. Thank you all for being here. God bless you. That was Denver's Mayor Michael Hancock along with the Governor of Colorado Jared Polis talking from the parking lot at Pepsi Center announcing an enterprise along with uh, Kroenke Sports uh, allowing them to open up on Friday a drive through testing site for people to be tested for COVID-19 to see if they have it presently. Uh, at this point they are looking to be able to do 500 tests a day. Uh, but they expect that capacity to be possibly even double up to 1,000. For more information as far as how you can register for that, you have to go to denvergov.org. They're going to be running this seven days a week from 8 to 5. Again, you have to register on the website. We'll have much more information on this as we continue to follow COVID-19 in Colorado coming up on 4 o'clock at 9 News. <music> We'll be right